you're probably wondering why I gathered you all here today. Gentlemen and ladies. How do we geocast? Diverse worlds. I spent so long sitting there trying to think of different ways to come up with an intro instead of just being like, well, all right, because I seem to do that so much. And I kind of just froze in the spot. Oh, well. As you can see, we're doing diverse world because uh, I chose it. Um, if you're like, man, I'm sick of the first world, I really would like him to do such and such. Well, what you can do is go ahead and make a suggestion for a uh, map you'd like me to try. And map can include any uh, theme. It could be a country, be like, hey, I want you to go here. Go ahead and uh, put them in the comments below. I'll look at them, review them, and probably end up doing them just uh just so you know so here we are on a wednesday trying to find out where we are exactly i'm thinking this is probably mexico but as mountainous as this is this makes me feel like it could be mexico and very well could be like an argentina chile type thing i'm hoping that i can quickly find out where we are by looking at some of these vehicles as they drive by. But everything seems sevende. Seems just a little blurry enough where it's not going to help me. I do see a green sign right up here that's probably going to tell me all I need to know. It didn't tell me anything. Maybe this is Santa Claus's summer home? I don't know. Let me take a sip while I wonder why this guy is just like straddle in the middle of the road. It feels like he's about to pass and then never does. Cuidado is caution. In 200 mountains, it's a curva peligrosa. Tell me where you are. Where are we? Are you passed out? That guy looks zonked out. That's a nice looking little old car there. Uh, Nazca. Prohibido. We're learning Spanish together. Who needs Duolingo anyway? Uh, that van is going that way. Hmm. Does, oh, okay. So this uh, is a, I forget what they're actually called. They're like uh, big giant drawings of stuff. Pictoglyphs. I believe they're these massive huge things that I believe are in this area here. Uh, could be down here as well. I remember reading about it in a book, and the problem is I can't remember where we are. Ciudad. Hmm. Like some of this stuff could be still Mexico. But I think these are in the Andes down here problem is I don't know what country. I'm going to give it a little bit more time. Hopefully uh, something will come up here. But as we go and look very close at this truck that we're about to pass in the 30 seconds I have, hopefully not forgetting to actually pick a country as we go here. Um, I'm going to pick one. I'm going to see what this sign says here. Absolutely nothing. Hmm. It's hmm. All right, I gotta hmm. I'm gonna say here. It looks arid enough, and I know that the the way the winds are here is all of the moisture comes in from this side and gets dumped before it goes over the mountain. And this side along the ocean is super dry. I at least got the country right, so that deserves a drink. Hmm. All right. Quick look here. This makes me think Australia and or New Zealand. This must have been before all the fires. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Anyway, we are halfway through the week. I'm trying to debate what I'm going to be doing this weekend. I'm very upset, mainly just because I've looked at the weather. And I'm a traditionalist in the sense when it comes to weather. You know, it's it's winter. Winter means snow, and I really hate that I can only go one square ahead. 
and I went and looked at the weather. Granted, I still hold fast to the fact that I'm really not looking forward to doing this, so I'm hoping it lets me go a little farther next time. Thank you. Um, that it's winter, and winter should have snow. I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself here, but... <clears throat> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so we are in a British... Mm, okay, so maybe this is... Trey Fontaine. This is South Africa. Um, I still remember from my climatology class in college that the, the state climatologist told us that um, most weather forecasts aren't really are that accurate past three days. Granted, this was 2004 at the time when I heard it, so I'm sure improvements have been made. And they've probably been able to forecast this stuff far more accurately. But I still hold strong to the fact that I usually don't trust most weather forecasts three days past and will only really pay attention to it when it comes to, like, Thursday. But I hate how the weather looks like it's going to be 50 degrees and rain on a Saturday. And I'm mad for multiple reasons, one of them being that I want to hike. I have not hiked this year yet. I'm hoping to. However, this weather where it's supposed to rain and be 50 degrees is the antithesis of actually getting out there and doing any hiking. So I want there to be snow. It should be snow out there. Christmas was kind of a wash because it was kind of drab and green and boring outside. And that's not what Christmas is to me. Granted, this side of the, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, I couldn't pause in time. This side south of the equator, this is kind of probably what December looks like here. But no, I want, I want, uh, I want snow. Winter should be snow. I like snow. I'm not getting snow, so now I'm a little bummed. I've got the country right at least. Um, whether or not I'm actually going to find anything closer to this as we apparently drive into the sky is beyond me. I'm hoping I can click fast enough to see. However, I don't know if I'm going to be as fortunate because this looks like a long straightaway and nothing seems to be changing. But it just looks like this weekend is going to end up being one of those uh, to-do list type things and that's kind of not what I look forward to in uh, weekends. Weekends should just be relax and do fuck all, but since I moved into this apartment and I've always been one of those people who's never actually, uh, I'm going to see if I can't maybe just see. I don't, okay, so we were all the way over here, huh? I never saw a road, that's because this road never said anything. I at least got the country right, but I was never one. I don't really care about decorating for uh, um, Christmas. It's not my thing. This feels like South East Asia, so we'll put ourselves here. And since I got new, my new place, my family got very excited and decided to reverse rob me and fill my house with a bunch of Christmas decorations, including a tree, and probably the most narcissistic thing I could think of. It was completely decorated with um, sun ornaments. Now, what I mean by this is when I was a kid, my mom, when she got a Christmas tree each year, she got a Christmas ornament for me and my sister. So it'll say like, son, 1993, or daughter, 1992. Thing, it, 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 there's a theme they do. And ever since I've been alive, she's been basically getting me a ornament each year, still doing it. Um, okay, so maybe this is actually uh, Brazil. And she's been doing it still, but it's kind of been a wash the past couple of years, mainly because I don't have a friggin' Christmas tree and I don't really care about decorating. But since I'm in the place I am now, she decided, her and the whole family made a whole day of it to come up here and basically 
reverse rob me and fill my house with a bunch of Christmas decorations. And now that it's actually the s first full week of January, they're still up. And despite multiple protests by me telling them to clean up their mess, they won't. So I'll probably end up having to do it myself. Now what I mean about very narcissistic uh, Christmas tree is that the tree is decorated with nothing but just ornaments for me. I mean, it's bad enough that my house is filled with paintings made by me, but to have a Christmas tree be the same thing, it, it's kind of just like, all right, we get it. But this is probably what I'm going to end up doing <clears throat> this weekend is cleaning up their mess. Now, I'm hoping that I'm right and that this is Brazil, but I keep seeing conflict. See, I see things like this, and it just makes me think, the fuck are we? There's so many tuk tucks. This is a language I'm. Rioja San Martin. I've got. See, look at all this. What am I supposed to do with this? This is so confusing. This is such an amalgamation. Is this actually Brazil? Tambo Posic. The fuck is this? Rioja. I got. See, signs like this makes me think that it's a. Uh, San Martin. So this is an island. Uh, they're making they're they're putting potable water here in San Martin. Is this the Philippines? I think this is the Philippines. I'm gonna put us down here just so I actually have a thing, but I'm gonna see if I can't see Pedro Ruiz somewhere here. Problem is this is a large country and I'm going to be only on one side of it and I'm going to get a terrible score if it ends up being like up here but I'm just taking kind of a guess here San Ramon San Juan Rioja oh my god this was Peru? Fuck me. That had me completely baffled, as you can tell by the score. An entire half a continent away. Wow. So I've essentially got zero points on that one, and we're in Scandinavia here, I believe. Is this Iceland? We'll find out, man. It's been a while since I've been absolutely stumped on one, so I guess Peru can look like that too, but I think most Peru um, guesses I've had have... Oh, I did see a sign here. Klepar Stigur. So I feel that this is Island, And we're going to go from there. is a bird um seems to be one of the many tour things i think i see the url says dot is yes i do did read recently that one of their tour buses tipped over at like close to midnight i think they might have been out doing a uh northern lights thing it was near ping Villier, which i went to uh, I don't know if anybody was hurt, but if it was Trond doing it, I hope he's okay. Ping Valier is down here, isn't it? Thor's Mark, is this Ping Ping Valier? No. Man, it's 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 been a little unless this is no, that's not it. Ben Yokel. Why am I drawing a blank? We drove to it. We're on the coast here. We gotta stop dealing with a thing we're not at and try to figure out where we are. Good old Iceland. It's gonna be up to, almost up to a year since last time I saw you, and I don't know the next time I'm gonna be here, but 
Pow Guinness. I definitely want to soon. Let's see, yeah, I am not gonna find it on this road. I gotta get like out to the main road here, which should be coming up right here. Unless I am mistaken. Maybe there's some waterfalls up here and it'll let me know where I am. Maybe I happen to be here. It seems I've actually come across more places I've been to in Iceland than I have when I was in friggin in my own state. I'm looking for 82. Well, there's 82. 12 miles to Dalvik. This way. And Akurieri, which is down there. All right, so 809. Looking for the 809. Haugenes. There's Haugenes. There's 809. All right, so we were Klapastingor right there. I think I nailed it. No, we were up a smidge. Maybe like right there. How far away are we from this road? Oh, we were right there. All right, so we're actually like maybe here. And I did not actually get to this part of the country. All right, I need a, I need a drink. I think I've earned it. Oh, man. I'm a little wound up. I uh, was given very late afternoon cold brew coffee, and I drank it extremely fast. And I am, that was definitely on the road. You're a little off here, GeoGuessr. I'm going to give you like 450 points for getting that wrong. Even with that, I'm still going to do terribly. Um, and this cold brew is working its way through me right now. See, meters, we are not in America. We are driving on the wrong side of the road. Yes, I'm going to call it wrong side. We have Bathurst. Bathurst is British, isn't it? At least it's over here somewhere. Itch my ear, excuse me. Is that a palm tree? That is. These are palm trees here. Okay, so this is actually uh other side of the world. Now I gotta remember where the frig Bathurst is. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat again, sorry. So we're down here. Okay. Let us do some more traveling to find out exactly where we are. Let's see if this truck tells us anything. Allied petroleum? Flammable. Has... Hazardous chemical. Okay, so that is not a different language. Okay, we do have New Zealand. All right, so we're over here. Now it's a matter of finding Bathurst. I think there's enough time. I may actually uh, do a quick little scanny scan and see if it just doesn't pop up as I go by. Just a quick look. If I can get two five thousands, even with that zero, I'd uh, I think I'm gonna pull off a pretty strong round of it, even with a zero. Okay, I don't see Bathurst. It did not catch my eye, so we'll uh, zoom out a bit and just leave it right here and continue onwards, looking for a root sign. We are near water, at least. Hmm. What do we got? This is just the turn. 75 kilometers is suggested. This snodgrass road. That doesn't help me. Give me a uh, sign, please, letting us know. An intersection. Perfect. All right, we're on the 67. C69s. <laughs> 
So we're around here then. None of these are names that are gonna Waya Mango Geora. I see sixty five. I see no sixty seven. Why does it do this to me? Every time. See, it's got to be around here. <clears throat> 65, 69, 63. So you got to be like in here, right? Why is this? I mean, is this? The, no, that's that's definitely not that. Am I actually in? No, that was dot nz. So I am in the right country. But why does this highway not exist? This is interesting. I'm just going to click here and be close. Oh, it was right on the coast. Why didn't I remember it was on the coast? You dumb, 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 dumb. Well, I... uh guess I did fine, even for having a zero there, but I could have done better. That Peru one, I don't think I was ever actually going to get. So good on them for completely stumping me on that. And here we are, halfway through the week. Thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, map suggestions, or other game suggestions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I am painfully stumbling my way through some Rainbow Six Siege until I get my feet underneath me and play for a little while longer. Um, yeah. So uh, go over and give that a look if you could, please. If not, hey, you do you. I'll do me. And we'll do each other on Friday. We'll see you then, folks. Have a good one. Bye.